So here's a short little tutorial on how to better use your scientific calculator for our pH POH problems that we're doing this week. Um, so the first thing we have to talk about and kind of review is our pH and POH. So the way I like to think about it is that our pH and POH have really direct relationships. Um, those equations were posted, but this uh, hopefully will clear it up just a little bit. So I like to think of it as train tracks. So on a train track, you can either go one direction or you can go the other direction. So it's the same with our pH, POH, hydroxide, and hydronium. So on the other sides, I like to put hydroxide and hydronium. So hydronium, you're going to see two different ways. You can see it as H plus or H3O plus. Both are completely fine. They're interchangeable. So make sure you're aware that you'll see both of these and they mean the same thing. So between pH and pOH, you can go either direction, and you're going to use the same equation no matter which direction you're going. So for the conversions between those, it's going to be pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Awesome. The exterior ones are a little bit more complicated, and that's why I kind of wanted to include this video. So if you're going from pOH out to hydroxide, then your OH is equal to 10 to the negative pOH. And then luckily it kind of mirrors itself on the other side. So when you're going outwards from pH out to hydronium, it's the same equation. So H plus, you're going to substitute in, is equal to 10 to the negative pH. So it's the same, you're just substituting in pH for pOH, substituting hydronium for hydroxide. Awesome. So that's if you're going outwards, but of course there is another option. You can go inwards from hydroxide to pOH. So for that one, our pOH is equal to the negative log of hydroxide. And the same thing, it's mirrored on the other side. So you're going inwards, the pOH, oh, so sorry, my mistake, the pH is equal to the negative log of hydronium. Awesome. So that is that. Those are our equations we're going to use. So for instance, if we were given hydronium, which is the problem we're about to do, and asked to find pOH, there's no way to jump to connect those two. You're going to have to go from hydronium to pH to pOH. So in this problem, we're going to start with hydronium. And we're going to say we have our hydronium concentration is 2.95 times 10 to the negative 2. So that is our hydronium. We're asked to find our pH, our pOH, and our hydroxide. So we're asked to find everything about this whole problem. So the main thing with this is that you have a clear starting point. You have to start with hydronium because there's no way that you can jump straight from hydronium to hydroxide or hydronium to pOH. So our first step is going to be hydronium to pH. So when we're going from hydronium to pH, it's that one direction. There's one equation we're going to use. So we see that it's going to be pH equals the negative log of H+. Plus. And again, keep in mind that the direction you're going in between these two is going to be determining which equation you use. If we had pH, we'd be using that other equation. But since we have hydronium, we're using that bottom equation. So we say pH is equal to the negative log of 2.95 times 10 to the negative 2. So we plug that in. So if you have this calculator, um, it should look something like this. When you start, the only thing that's a little bit more tricky about this problem, uh, about this calculator than maybe our graphing calculator or something else like that, is that you can't always see what you've already punched in. So you have to be kind of aware of what you're doing as it's going. So first, the number one mistake I see is that a lot of students, when they plug in that negative, want to put the subtraction symbol. So that is not correct. You'll get some type of error, um, or you'll get a number that's just kind of shuffled and off. So make sure you're using that negative function. So we're going to say the negative or the log. So here's our log right up top, right there. So we're going to say log. Oops. Ooh, sorry. So for this calculator, I'm so sorry. 
you're going to have to type in the number first. So you're going to say 2.95. Instead of typing times 10 to though, we want as few keys pushed as possible. That way we have less room for error. We're going to say EE, -E, and you'll see that little box up top pop up. So that EE -E is times 10 to the. You'll say negative 2. Um, you can hit enter if you want in between there. So I'll go ahead and do that. It pops up just like that. And then you're going to press log and then negative. So it's a little bit shuffled. So you get 1.53 as your pH. So I'm going to do that one more time. So again, for this one, type in the number first. So you're going to say 2.95 EE for times 10 to the negative 2. If you don't press enter, you'll still get the same thing. So you'll press log from there and then negative, because it's always going to be the negative log. So everything is a little bit shuffled for this. So you still get 1.53. Awesome. So from there, from pH, we're now able to go to pOH. And we see that the equation there is pH plus pOH equals 14. So we can plug in the pH we found in the last problem. So 1.53 plus pOH equals 14. We subtract 1.53 from both sides. Again, this one should be pretty easy. 14 minus 1.53, 12.47. Awesome. And then our final step, we're going to go from pOH to hydroxide concentration. So for that one, we see the direction of the arrow. So the equation we're going to use is our hydroxide concentration is equal to 10 to the power of the negative pOH. So we're going to plug that in. 10 to the power of the negative 12.47. So for our calculator with this one, um, I know I always like to kind of discourage using the uh, to the power button, but for this one, we're going to be using it for sure. So we're going to say 10 to the power of 12.47 negative. So make sure you press that negative after, hit enter, and we will get it. So we can go ahead and round it to 3.39. Make sure you remember that this is not to the power of negative 13, but it is times 10 to the power of the negative 13. So those are very different answers. So again, to plug this one in, you're going to say 10. You're going to hit that Y to the X button. So 10 to the power of 12.47. So that was the POH we got in the last problem. Make it negative because it has to be negative for this equation. Hit enter and it's 3.39 times 10 to the negative 13.